Nation, the entertainment for the community. We are going with the and the Tuesday of Vibes Tuesdays. Community members, enough love and blessings on the Tuesday. I hope you do all of a productive day. With that said, let us get to the topics. Yesterday was local elections, not general, local. And a lot of people went out to vote yesterday. Although I must say, I'm wondering if some of them people who went to vote, if them actually keep up to date on what's going on with the country. Well, I should say what's going on in the country. But a lot of them people are go vote because them know the color orange or them go vote because they know the color green. I see some people out yesterday and they were clearly there for the excitement. As in them now have a vote as them now have a damn thing but them just out in a colors. Just love the energy, love the excitement. Nah, try to take that away from them still but it is what it is. What happened with Nationwide last night? My god, such an embarrassment. What could have led them to do something like that? Not. It is not nationwide alone. Other media outlets share the same news, but let's stick to nationwide for now. The thing never done as yet, but yet they put out big breaking news stating that PMP walked away, or PMP was the victor in the 2024 local elections. You see what it says? Breaking news The People's National Party PMP has won the country's 17th local government elections. Mark Golden has led the People's National Party to its first election victory since 2011. JLP supporters were shocked and left disappointed, while PMP supporters they were excited. Quick look at L.A. Lewis post after that piece of news. He shared this, Shrek, your brother go down. You feel you would have get 200 increase in a vote? My people, thank you. Well done Jamaica. Things have to change. It looked like L.A. Lewis even had 3 more 7s to his 7 7s because that around 10 7 me account. Shortly after that, over on the nation wide, they shared this. Notice. Important note, we are withdrawing the prior call that the People's National Party, PMP, has won the 17th local government election until further and better data is available. The latest to say on it, JLP has won 7 while the People's National Party has won 4 with 2 tie, I think they are going to reach those. This speech from Mark Golden seemed to confuse a lot of people. It is him claiming victory. Some people have said he was claiming victory of the overall election before all the votes were even counted. While some people are saying he's stating that they are victorious because how they lost the last election by a massive landslide. This time around, it is completely different. Still Nation, check out the clip and only decide for yourself. I want to give thanks and praise to the Most High God for this victory. This morning I woke up and I read Psalm 91. Come on! Inspiration all through the day. Comrades, we have won the popular vote in Jamaica. We have won many more divisions than we had before. We have won the KSAMC with a large margin of the popular vote. We have picked up additional council and there are a couple of results that we are waiting confirmation of. Overall, the PMP has definitely won this parish council election. The people have spoken. The people have spoken. I said at the beginning that this would be a referendum on the government of Andrew Holness. And the people have spoken. They want change. They're tired of this Jamaica Labour Party government. They're tired of the lies and deception. They're tired of the corruption. They're tired of the lack of care for the people who need care. They're tired of the education system that is failing our children. They're tired of the public hospitals where the families are failing and need to be admitted. The farmers are feeling it. The road network is atrocious across the country. Comrades, there's work to do, but the wind is in our sails, and we want to take back government because we have the plan, and we have the wherewithal, and we have the commitment to the people of Jamaica. Comrades, I want to thank each and every one of you for the effort that you are putting in this campaign. You have been a tremendous force. The orange wave has rolled over Jamaica.
I want to thank the General Secretary, a master tactician, a very hard worker, and his team here at the campaign office on, and all through the, the regions and across all of Jamaica for their excellent work. We have run a powerful and effective campaign. We have, we have shown that the People's National Party, having not won a general election since 2011 or a local since 2012, we have shown that we have the capacity to deliver, to execute, and to achieve victory. And my heart is full because the PNP has come back as a strong, powerful force in this land again to the masses of the people and all Jamaica. And comrades, we will continue the work. We will continue to build our momentum. We will continue what we have been doing because we will not let the people down. The people want to see a PNP government and the people want to see Ayman, Mark, Jefferson, Jordan. But not only that, it seems as if there is a draw for Kingston and St. Andrew, but PNP will appoint the chairman and mayor by virtue of having won the popular vote. And the nation, Kingston and St. Andrew is like the must have for the two. That is why you will suppose like this, EOJ data shows time in KSAMC, Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Council. But let us continue, EOJ data shows time in KSAMC, but JLP mayor claims victory. So we're now joined by Mayor Williams, or should I say Chairman of the KSAC, Delroy Williams, here at the JLP headquarters. Um, Mr. Williams, how is it looking for the JLP so far? Well, all the figures we have, all the numbers, show that we have retained the KSAMC. We have 21 seats as of the prelim preliminary count. We have 21 seats to the PNP 19. Um, so that is it. We, tomorrow we enter into the final count and we take it from there. But as of tonight, we have 21 seats and that is, we have counted all the, all the statements of polls and we have added them up more than once and we have 21 seats and the PNP has 19. So we have retained the case AMC. But the, the word you're giving us is that the GDP has that, held yes, on to the We have 21 AMC. seats and the PNP has Can 19. You, what we're looking here, not much activity is Because as I'm saying, there is. are people, the people are just listening. There's nothing definitive on radio. The radio has been saying 2020 for the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation. So, you know, people would be tied to that. Uh, but what we are correcting that. That is wrong. That information is not right. It's not 2020, it's 2190. Have you heard from the Prime Minister? Yes. And what, what's the word from him? Well, I, I can just bring the, update the Prime Minister with respect to Kingston and St. Andrew. And the Prime Minister is upbeat about it. I'm very glad that we have won the capital city. And so, so it's really just the capital city. We won. You we seem won. to be facing a wave across the rest of the island. What went wrong? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I don't have to figure out the wave. I heard we won St. Mary, we won St. Elizabeth, and we won some other seat, the um, parish the So I, I, I'm not sure what you'd be saying in a way. I don't have all the figures I've said. I've been very focused on Kingston and St. Andrew. And so I don't know what is happening. Just coming in, I heard that we won St. Mary, won Portland, we won St. Elizabeth. So those are good parishes that we we are told. I, well, I heard that we have won. And we have won Kingston and St. Andrew. And here is the Prime Minister Andrew Onis speaking on the results. Now 11.21, what a time to uh, have a press conference. But we waited until we got the latest results from the Electoral Office of Jamaica. Uh, what we can say to the nation is that the Jamaica Labour Party retains seven municipal corporations uh, with a clear lead. The PNP, the PNP has four, and uh, there are two that are reported to be tied. So, without question, the Jamaica Labour Party has won the uh, municipal elections, without question. Two municipal corporations that are the two municipal corporations that are 
tied, we should have some definitive results on those uh, in a few days, possibly by Wednesday. But as you know, with these elections, as it was in 2016, they go, they go through recounts, uh, and uh, where there are very close margins, there is the potential for change. So right now, the most definitive result that we can say is that the Jamaica Labour Party holds seven municipal corporations, which is the majority of the corporations. Um, the ties are the KCAC and, uh, at this point, Clarendon. Uh, and as I said, those will probably go through magisterial recalls. How do you interpret this? How do you, how do you interpret this? Well, if, if we look at what existed before, um, the PNP retained Clarendon, well, sorry, retained Westmoreland, which they had, Hanover, uh, Manchester, and St. Catherine. Uh, the Jamaica Labour Party uh, retained all that it had, which was uh, Trelawney, St. Mary, St. Anne, uh, St. James, St. Elizabeth, St. Thomas, and Portland. So, how do you interpret this? Clearly, the people of Jamaica maintains confidence in the government of the Jamaica Labour Party. Clearly, clearly, if this were a, a general election, the Jamaica Labour Party would still be the government of Jamaica, which is the, <laughs> which is, which is the result. Nation state thoughts on that, so moving on. Spice at the IMC. Record labels are hypocrites. Well, most of them at least. I feel like um, someone that has been signing a record label for 10 years and they didn't do much versus me now being an independent artist, I now know the difference. And so I'm so happy that I wasn't asked the question because then I would have to be honest with the audience and let them know that sometimes a record label will sign you and not do not to feel and just sit down on you because them having you in a contract means that they will know reap benefits from you whether they do the work or not. What are some Jamaican music biz questions that need to be tackled and aren't being tackled right now you think? You know some of the things that I feel like we should be tackling and talking about is the fact that some artists get hot at Jamaica that's what we call them them boss but when you go overseas people really don't know them or their streaming numbers are not doing particularly well. I'm just coming from Singapore and I'm not classifying myself out of this because when I said to the people you see right now as a producer, me want to be a Silk Bass 50 Jamaican. As a matter of fact, Silk Bass couldn't give me a song for free. Right, Bumbo Clark now. And behalf of the little youth that we are, we are bringing at the world. And you choose to put them the lyrics there and file for the youth can grow up and find and hear you the sperm donor and say him should have the dash way. You, now you get up every day and sing about pain in a song, brother. You know, you want bury your heart in a blood clot valley, you would, you would, yeah. Somehow no shape shifter in here, believe me. Somehow no can bomb buck clot, you man, you would. You would. All the producer will voice that they sang the brother. Brother. Better you did low silk with that song, the dog. I see us to God. I know say at the end of the day, the whole line of this for business, but that song, the bro. At first, you did all right when me you had shut off your face, but media, considering your media boss you, and up, and up the regular route you go, a social media responsible for your, for your career 150%. But let's pretend like that never happened, and you fuck the media. But you see, when you get done and I sang, I'm here, you deal with the little you, the little innocent baby dog. I wouldn't take a syllabus for free right now. Remember me tell you that. And you know what I'm even done with your pussy old silk bass. You know I'm to your blood clad career. You know I'm to your career. Half of your career, you gally out. You gally out half of your bum clad career. You know the sad thing about your gally out. One gally gally out pan. One bum clad gal move with half of your pussy clad energy. One gal move with half of your energy. 
And you might fuck a couple more idiots three out there will make you feel like say yeah, girl is pussy no know nothing about girl is thing. You no know nothing about bum buckle like girl is thing. You know you the account pan? You the account pan Jamaica for run with your bum buckle like sorrow. Me know if your facts that Jamaica get fuck. I mean, no fear facts that my people up on a downward spiral, but something in a bum buckle like till me tell me say them nah and go. We not we not so far gone yet. We not so deep down the bum buckle like rabbit hole yet. You not get no forward panda song ya boy.